Without hunger, losing weight wouldn't be a challenge at all. People would be starving themselves until they reach their ideal weight. Unfortunately, the human body doesn't work like that. You have to eat enough food. And even those who use starvation as a way of losing weight eventually realize that it's not a strategy you can use long term. Yes, you may be able to use it for a month, two months, or even six months, but eventually you'll have to give in into the hunger. And when that happens, most people end up regaining weight and weighing more than they did before they started the program. And that's why today I want to share with you a simple and easy way of losing weight without hunger. And if you use the tips that I'm going to share with you here, you'll be able to lose weight comfortably and also maintain optimal health. What exactly do you need to do? The first thing is to choose the right workouts. One of the biggest complaints I get from clients is that they are feeling hungry all the time after they start going to the gym. And the reason for this is because they are doing very intense, long workouts. If you're exercising for one hour or one hour 30 minutes every day and you're doing intense exercises, you're going to feel hungry. And what happens after the workout is that most people end up overindulging and this leads to a calorie surplus and makes it impossible to lose weight. You've probably heard that you can't outwork a bad diet and that is so true so if you're just doing intense workouts and eating as much as you can you won't lose weight so the best thing that you can do for yourself is choose the right workouts choose workouts that are not so intense and also workouts that are not very long if you're a beginner you can start with 30 minute workouts that are a little bit low impact if you do them consistently you'll still be able to lose weight and also when you're choosing workouts don't just focus on losing weight. There are so many benefits of exercise. Exercise can improve your endurance. It can improve your heart health. It can boost your mood. So consider all these things when you're choosing your workouts. Don't just focus on weight loss. Because if you choose workouts based on weight loss alone, what will happen once you reach your ideal weight? Chances are you'll stop exercising. So exercise for different reasons. Then the second thing that you can do, and for workouts, I have so many of them on the channel. So just learn to listen to your body. If you do a 20-minute workout and feel like you are energetic after the workout and you're feeling full, keep doing that workout. If you do a one-hour workout and you're feeling hungry after the workout, stop doing it or reduce the duration of that workout to about 30 or 40 minutes. So listen to your body, and you might need to keep records of this when you're just starting out to know how your body feels and then adjust from there. Then the second strategy is focus on nutrients, not calories. Anyone trying to lose weight worries about calories. And I totally understand because it's what we are told all the time. If you consume excess calories, you're going to gain weight. If you consume fewer calories, you're going to lose weight. So I understand the obsession with calories. But realize that focusing on calories alone is a bad strategy. Because for one, you may end up eating low-calorie foods that are unhealthy. At the same time, you may end up starving yourself just to avoid the excess calories. So it's never a good strategy to focus on calories. The best thing that you can focus on is nutrients and the quality of the food that you're eating. If you focus on nutrients, chances are you'll end up eating low-calorie foods. Let me give you an example of low-calorie foods that are loaded with nutrients. These are things like vegetables, complex carbohydrates, fruits, legumes, and so on. But if you're just focusing on calories, you may end up eating low-fat foods which are processed and don't contain any fiber that is going to keep your stomach full. So focus on nutrients. Ask yourself, is this food that I'm about to eat loaded with nutrients? If you just focus on nutrients alone, you'll find that it will be very easy for you to build a healthy relationship with food and that you'll be able to avoid excess calories. The third thing that you can do is eat more food. So if you are on a weight loss program right now, and you're making progress, but you're feeling hungry all the time, the best solution actually would be to eat more food. If you eat more of the right food, you have nothing to worry about. Let's say, for example, you have a meal. The meal has veggies. So let's say it has vegetables like cabbage. It has protein. 
something like eggs, hard boiled eggs. This is just an example. The meal might be off. Then we have carbs and we have something like sweet potatoes. So in this meal, you can increase the volume of the food by simply eating more cabbage. If you add more cabbage, you'll be able to stay full for long and not struggle with hunger. You can also add one hard boiled egg and you'll only get an extra 70 calories. So the best solution if you're feeling hungry all the time is to increase the quantity of your food and most importantly, increase the quantity of vegetables. Another thing that you can do is increase your water intake, especially drinking water before the meal and also your fruit intake. Eat a fruit before the meal. Those are simple strategies that you can do in every meal to make sure that you're not feeling hungry all the time. Then the fourth strategy that you can use is to differentiate between cravings and hunger and physical hunger. One of the biggest challenges for most people is not hunger but cravings. And most times cravings are psychological. You associate eating a certain food with the reward that your brain is going to get. For example, sugary foods or fatty foods. Knowing that you're not hungry and you're only experiencing cravings will make it easier for you to practice self-control. So if you're craving a specific food, chances are you're not hungry. If you just want to eat chocolate, that's not hunger. Hunger, with hunger, you can eat anything to just fill your stomach. So learn to differentiate these two and know that if you're struggling with cravings, you just need to practice self-control for long enough to be able to overcome those cravings. Then finally, avoid the stress. Research shows that the quality of sleep and the stress have a big impact on hunger because when you don't get adequate sleep, it affects your hunger hormones and it ends up increasing your hunger because it lowers your leptin levels and increases your ghrelin levels. So the best thing that you can do is try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep every night and also regulate your stress. Avoid stressful situations and find relaxing activities that you can engage in every day like exercise, walking, stretching, yoga, and so on. If you do these five things, it will be very easy for you to lose weight without feeling hungry all the time. Now, if you need guidance on exactly what you need to eat in every meal, I advise you book a call with me in the link in the description below. I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I will guide you for 90 days. And in these 90 days, I'll create a customized diet plan for you, a customized workout plan, and I'll make sure that you stay accountable every day because I'll be calling you every single day for 90 days. And if you're struggling with something like hunger, I bet you that I'm going to help you and I'm going to help you overcome hunger, cravings, or any other challenges that you may be dealing with right now. So click the link in the description below and book a call with me. I hope the video was helpful. Like it and share it with your friends.